so this is go code in this video we will solve a problem which is asked in june challenge of code chef long named as lent money so before going to know how we can solve this problem first let's see some points the first point is if we take a zor of a number n with another number x even number of time then x will not affect the number n that is taking a zor of n with x even number of time then the value of n will remain same because the zor of same number is 0 and here x appears two times that's why the zor of x with x is 0 and zor of a number with 0 will remains the number and the second point is taking a zor of a number n with another number will either decrease the value of n or does not affect the value of n or decrease the value of n so now let's see the problem statement in this problem we have n bags that contains ai amount of money in each bag and we have another two integer k and x and we can perform many operations and in each operation we have we have to do this thing that is we can we have to pick exactly k different bags from n bags and we have to change the value of those bags by taking the zor of each and every bag with x and we can pick any bag any number of times and the task is to maximize the total amount of money in the bag that is maximize the sum of amount of money in all the bags as we want the sum of all the numbers that is money to be maximum so to maximize the sum of numbers we have to maximize each and every number if possible now let's check how many numbers are there which will increase their value if we take the zor of them by the number x to do so take the zor of individual number with x and subtract this value with the original number if this value is greater than 0 then we can increase the value of the number now suppose there are n total numbers from them there are m numbers who can increase its value if we take the zor of these m number by x now let's claim a statement which is we can change the value of two numbers by taking the zor with x without affecting the other numbers and without depend on k now let's prove this statement we have n equals 5 and k equal 3 and these are the five numbers in first operation let's pick a b and e and take the zor of these three number with x so let's take the zor of a with x zor of d with x and e with x now let's pick b d and e and take the zor of b with x and take the zor of d with x and take the zor of e with x now you can see that a is zor with x odd number of times and b is b also zor with x odd number of times so the values of a and b will affect whereas for d and e we have take even number of times zor so the value of d and e will remain same so you can see that we have changed the two values and the val other values remains the same that is c d and e so the problem solved hmm. so what we have to do from n element we have to find how many elements are there whose value can be increased if we take the value take the zor of those value with x suppose there are m values and take the zor of those m values with x and some the updated values of x but there are some cases 
let's see what are those cases so the first case is what if k is equal n in this case the answer will be the maximum of sum of numbers before taking zor comma sum of number after taking zor of all the numbers because here k is equal n now the second case is suppose there are m numbers whose value can increase if we take the zor of these m value with x and and k is the total number of element that we have to pick in this case the sub case is what is the answer if m is even as we saw that we can change any two values without affecting the others and even number is always a multiple of 2 so we can change the pair of values so here suppose m is 6 then first we will change these two values after that we will change these two values after that we will change these two values so this is how we can increase all the values as m is even so it is independent on k so either k is odd or k is even it is always possible to increase all the m values now let's take some example for is m as even and k is odd let m is 6 and k is 3 and the numbers are these now our task is to take the zor of all the element with x so first pick a e and f so a is zor by x e is zor by x and f is zor by x and now let's pick b e and f so b is zor by x and e is zor by x f is zor by x now let's pick c a and b so c is zor by x a is zor by x and b is zor by x so now let's pick d a and b so a is zor by x b is zor by x d is zor by x now let's pick e d c so c is zor by x d is zor by x e is zor by x so now let's pick c d and f so c is zor by x d is zor by x and f is zor by x as you observe that here all the numbers are zor odd number of times so all the numbers will affect by x so the resultant will become a is or x b is or x c is or x d is or x e is or x and f is or x so this is how we can take the zor with each and every number by x now let's take an example with when k is even so m is 6 and k is 4 so let's pick a d e and f so e is or by x d is or by x e is or by x and f is or by x now let's pick b d e and f so b is or by x x x and x so now let's pick c f a and b a is or by x b by x c by x and f by x now let's pick d f a b so a by zor x by x by x and by x now let's pick e d c and d so b is zor by x c is zor by x d is zor by x e is zor by x now let's pick f d c and b so b is zor by x c is zor by x d is zor by x And f is zor by x. Here also you can see that every element is zor odd number of times. It means it is possible to change the value of all the numbers by taking the zor with x. Now the another case is when m is odd and k is also odd. In this case, it is also possible to change the value of all the m elements because as we saw that we can change the values of two elements without affecting the others it means if we multiply 2 with number n add the value k then it is possible to make 
this LHS equal to M as M is odd number and K is also a odd number addition of any odd number with even number result to odd number as as 2 into n is a even number so we can change 2 into n numbers by taking this or by this method and now after changing 2 into n numbers the left numbers are k and we can change the k numbers by taking zor one times by picking those k number so in this case answer will also become the sum of updated values of bags now the last case is when m is odd and k is even in this case if we subtract 1 from k then this case also become same as this case because here also m is odd and if we subtract 1 from a even number then it will become odd number so k will become odd and here we saw that we can change all the numbers if m is odd and k is odd so in this case we will left with one number whose value we can't change because we can change only pair of values without affecting the other numbers so here we have two choice either we can left this number or we will take this or but we can't take the zor of a single number without affecting the other number but we can take zor of two numbers without affecting the other so we have to find one another number so now our task is finding the another number now the question is which number is this another number as a second number we will pick the number whose resultant of this equation is minimum because this quantity is going to be negative or zero because we have already used m minus one numbers whose value can increase if we take this or with x and this is the last number whose value can increase so to finding another number we will take one number from the left number after taking m numbers from n whose value is decreased minimum as we take the zor of that number by x so in this case the answer will become the maximum of sum of updated value without taking the zor without taking the zor of this element comma sum of updated values after taking the zor of this number and a number which we have picked another so this is how we can solve this problem the code the solution of this problem is given in the description so let's stop here and we will meet in next video